Hello, so we have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 and this is raised to the power of t and this equals 512. So we will be solving for this value of t that will satisfy this equation. So what we are going to do right now is we are going to express this 512 in its exponential form. So we have 512 is equivalent to 2 to the power of 9. Because if you multiply 2 into 9 places, you are going to have 512. So we are going to replace this 512 here with 2 to the power of 9. So doing that, you have 2 to the power of 3. And this is to the power of 4, and this is to the power of t. And this equals 5 on 2. And that 5 on 2 is to the power 9, so we have 2 to the power of 9. Also, if you have a to the power of n, and this equals a to the power of m, what you are going to do will be to equate the exponent because the bases are the same. So we are going to apply the same rule here, in which the two bases are the same, the two we have here and the two we have here. So we are going to be left with 3 to the power of 4 to the power of t, and this equals 9. So we repeat the same steps again by Replacing this 9 with 3 to the power of 2, because 9 is a perfect square, we have 3 to the power of 2. So what we are going to have will be 3 to the power of 4, and this is 3 to the power of t, and this equals 3 to the power of 2. And the two pieces here are the same again. Going by this same identity, we compare the exponent once again. We have 4 to the power of t, and this equals 2. So the next step will be to solve for t. The 4 we have here is a perfect square, in which we are going to express as 2 to the power of 2. This is the power of t, and this equals 2. So if you apply e to the power of n, and this is raised to the power of n, this equals a power n times n. So we are going to apply that identity right here by multiplying this exponent. So what we are going to have will be 2 to the power of 2 times t, that is 2t, and this equals 2. And this 2 here is raised to the power of 1. So at this point we can Compare the exponent again because the bases are the same. So you have 2 times t equals 1. And we can easily solve for t right now because we can divide this by the equation of t, which is 2. We divide this by 2 as well. So 2 cancels 2. We have t equals 1 over 2. So this is it in this particular video. Now, the next thing we can easily do is to check by inserting this particular value of t again back into this original problem and let's check if it's going to satisfy the equation. That means we are going to check if we are going to have 512. So we will replace t with 1 over 2 and what we are going to have will simply be this is 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4 to the power of 1 over 2 and this equals 512. So if you also have maybe a to the power of b to the power of c to the power of d and you want to evaluate this, you easily start with c to the power of d. So we are going to start with 4 to the power of 2 copy r4 to the power of 2. This is like taking the square root of 4 because a power 1 over 2 is square root of a. 
So for to the power of 2 is by taking square root of 4 and that is 2. So we will replace this 4 power 1 over 2 with 2. So the new equation we are going to have will simply be 2, which is the base to the power of 3, which is the 3 we have here, to the power of 2, and this equals 5, 1, 2. Now at this point, we are going to consider this top exponent again, which is 3 power 2, and we have 3 to the power of 2 is 3 times 3, and that is 9. So we simply replace 3 power 2 with 9, we have 2 power 9, and this equals 5, 1, 2. You can easily multiply out 2 power 9 to check if you are going to have 5, 1, 2. 2 power 9 simply means 2 into 9 places, so we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That is 2 into 9 places, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And this, let's check if slightly going to give us 5, 1, 2. You can multiply it out. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32 times 2, 64 times 2, 128 times 2, 256 times 2, this is 512, and this equals 512. So the left hand side here equals the right hand side. That shows the correctness of the solution. Now, a quick recap on how we actually solve this is. First and foremost, you need to express this, the both sides in exponential form. Whenever you have an exponential equation like this, and there's an equality sign here, you try to express this in exponential form. Ensure the two sides of the equation have the same basis. So we have two here, we have two here. After discovering that 5, 1, 2 is the same as 2 power 9, then from here, we consider the identity of equating the exponents because the bases are the same. So we apply the same thing here again. And we keep on repeating it, trying to ensure that we express the numbers in the exponential form so that we can easily equate the exponents. Whenever you have an exponential equation, what, that is what you likely do. Ensure you express the two sides of the equation in its exponential form. So that is what we just did here. And from there, we're able to solve for t after having 2t equals 1. We divide the coefficients by 2. Then we also do the same thing on the other side. So we end ended up having t equals 1 over 2. And we also checked, and that was exactly the value that satisfy the equation after inserting it back into the original equation. So we ended up having 5, 1, 2 on both sides of this equation. So that is how you can easily solve this type of exponential function or exponential equation. So the first step is to ensure that the both sides are expressed in its exponential form. I think that is the most important step. Oh, no. So that is it.